Hi everyone, welcome to Wi-Fi Router Service. In this video, I'm going to show you the configuration of ASUS RT M12 Plus model Wi-Fi router. You need Ethernet cable to connect the router with your PC or on any ports except this one port. One port is for connecting cable from your provider's device. Now connect your laptop with LAN cable from one of this LAN port. And we know ASUS router default IP is 192.168.1.1. So you set up your laptop's IP 192.168.1.2 or you can leave it as automatic. Let me show you where you set this automatic IP. Here you click and cpa.cpl. This command from here, check the Ethernet. I go to the properties, click on the IP version 4. You see, obtain an IP address automatically. So, when we plug the cable on our laptop from Wi Fi router, our laptop will get an IP address from router DHCP range. Let's plug this. Okay, you can see if you click on the status. Click details you see we got an IP address 192.168.1.239 from the DSCP range and our gateway is 192.168.1.1 which is as a router default gateway now we will open the browser and we will hit with as a router default IP click enter you can see this is our Asus RT and 12 plus router so now we will set up this router okay now we will skip the setup wizard we will not set it up automatically we will set it up manually so we will click this button skip setup wizard if we skip the setup wizard it has a message that we strongly recommend that you set the wireless security setting first so we will set this wireless security setting so click ok we'll give a network name and the password is anything you like now we'll click on the skip setup wizard so it will ask you to change the router login password so our router login name is admin password i can give anything i like click modify okay this is our main window now we will set up we will do the configuration in seven steps just remember the steps and you can configure anything similar to this wi-fi router okay well, our first option is set up wi-fi operation mode we'll go to the advanced settings and one and here you can see one connection type we have few options here automatic ip static ip and pppoe if your ISP provide static ip which is ip address then you can put here the ip address subject mask and default gateway and dns address the address that you get from your isp will put it here but my isp provide pppoe service so i will select one connection type pppoe now in the second step we have to set up connection type and set one ip or pppoe so as i have to set up pppoe so i'll put my username and password here the username is and the password this username and password I got from my ISP provider okay now I click apply now in the third step I'll select the LAN I'll check my IP address I don't have to change it I'll keep the default here this is my all the other LAN devices gateway address 192.168.1.1 now in the fourth step I'll check my DSCP server settings Click on the DSCP. It is enable the DSCP server. Yes. And this is my IP pool settings. This is the starting address and this is the ending address. So I will start with 11. I'll keep some address for other purpose. And this is the default gateway. I will put the default gateway so that my user will get the default gateway address automatically. And I'll put the DNS address as well. Now I'll click apply. Now in the fifth step, we will select the wireless settings. Click on the wireless. I already set my network name SSID. For some security reason, Asus router will ask you to give SSID before you configure 
this router manually. So I already gave my SSID, which is Techy Lab, well it's mode auto. Don't have to change it. In the channel window, you can select 20 megahertz or 40 megahertz. Depends on your requirement. If you select 20 megahertz, your coverage range will be increased. If you want this router to work in a small place just in one place you can select 40 megahertz now in the control channel you can select the channel here we have 11 channel and this one six and eleven a non-overlap channel so you before you select any channel here i recommend you to use the wi-fi analyzer and see if there is any free channel available so you select this one but it is recommended to use 1, 6 or 11 as these are the non-overlap channels. Now this is the authentication method. This is the recommended WPA2 personal and the encryption is AES. This is the WPA appreciate key. This is the wireless password and this password will be required to connect with your Wi-Fi router to access the internet. So all device will require this password. Now click apply. Okay, if you finish up to this level, you can use internet from your local network now. Just remember to connect ethernet cable from internet providers and device to your router's one port. Now we will do some few settings. In our fifth step, we will change our remote management port for security. So we will click on the administration, click on the system, and I will wave access from one. We will click yes, and it's a default port to wave access from one so we will change it to some other port a random port okay you can change the password from here if you want to change in the administration and system you have to type your password twice and then apply now our seventh step our final step we will have to change the time zone you can see we already have our time zone here select this one and click OK. So that's pretty much of it. I will cover a few more router configuration in the future. So do subscribe my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.